Hey everyone, Greg here from Lens Pro2Go and Lens Rentals. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Vericam LT and see how it handles exposure recovery in over and underexposed situations. This test is gonna be a little bit different though because the Vericam has Panasonic's dual native ISO technology. So I'm gonna be running through all of the exposures in both of the native ISOs at 800 and at 5000. Time codes will be linked in the description for each exposure. Now let's go get this camera set up and shoot some tests. So here we are with our correct exposure. We're at 800 ISO and we're at an F8. To start, we're gonna be going underexposed, so we're gonna stop down to an F11. Here we are at F11, one stop underexposed. The shot on the left is the actual shot, and then the shot on the right is the recovered shot, and the one in the center is the correct exposure just for comparison. Here we are at F16, we're now two stops underexposed. We're starting to see a little bit of noise in the recovered shot. It could still be usable with some noise reduction. Now we've opened up to an F11, but we've added in 0.6 NDs to add two stops of ND. We're three stops underexposed, and we're starting to get quite a bit of noise in the recovered shot. Here we are at F16 with 0.6 NDs. This is four stops underexposed, and this would be pretty much unusable with the amount of noise that's in this shot. And then lastly, we're at F11 with 1.2 NDs, five stops underexposed, totally unusable, way too much noise, and the colors start to shift a little bit. Now we'll just go back to F8 800 ISO, and now we're gonna go overexposed. So opening up to a F5.6, we're overexposed. Shot on the left again is the actual shot, the shot on the right is the recovered shot. And this looks pretty good. This looks really solid. It is a little bit washed out, so you could add a little bit of saturation in there. But opening up again to an F4, where two stops overexposed, stays very, very consistent. Three stops overexposed, still really solid, definitely usable at an F2.8. At an F2, we're four stops overexposed, and it looks very, very similar, and actually looks a little bit cleaner than the correct exposure, because we're blurring out that back. We're getting some nice bokeh on the wall behind me. And then lastly, at an F1.4, we're five stops overexposed. This is really where it starts to fall apart. If you look on the tip of my nose, you can see that it's not really recovering it fully. We are getting a little bit of washed out area, as well as in the mug in the top right, and some of the brighter colors. Now we'll switch back to our correct exposure, but this time we're at ISO 5000, again at an F8 for our correct exposure. And going underexposed one stop, we're gonna stop down to an F11 at that 5000 ISO, and this is one stop underexposed. Again, actual shot on the left, recovered shot on the right. Here we are two stops underexposed, we're at an F16. Again, this is already getting really noisy. This one you might be able to save, but I think after this, it's gonna be unrecoverable. Here we are at F11. 0.6 NDs, three stops underexposed. This would be a really, really hard shot to recover. In some cases, you might be able to use it, but probably not. Here we are at an F16, 0.6 NDs, four stops underexposed. For me, this is totally unusable and wouldn't work for a shoot. Lastly, we're gonna go to F11, 1.2 NDs, ISO 5000, five stops underexposed. This is completely gone. I wouldn't even try pushing something this dark back up to this exposure. So back to just our correct exposure, F8, ISO 5000. Now we're going to overexpose the image by opening up the aperture. First, we're gonna open up to an F5.6. This is one stop overexposed. And again, it does a pretty good job recovering it. And it actually looks a little bit cleaner in some of the noisy areas than the correct exposure. We'll open up again to an F4, and this is now two stops overexposed. And again, it's cleaning up and actually looks a little bit cleaner than the correct exposure in the noise area, especially right underneath that two by four above my head. Here we are at a 2.8, three stops overexposed. Still looks really, really good. Definitely usable and again, cleaner than the correct exposure. And here we are four stops overexposed. Again, even cleaner than our correct exposure being four stops overexposed, which is pretty incredible. And then again, just like the 800 ISO at an F1.4, five stops overexposed, it is unrecoverable. It's a pretty big jump between that four stops, which actually looks really, really clean, to this five stops, totally not usable. Now, it's not because you see a ton of noise like you do when you're underexposing it, but there's a lot of areas that aren't able to come back from that white, like the tip of my nose, all of the whites on the chart, and on the little paint swatch on the right side, and the mug above the two by four. And there you have it, five stops over and five stops underexposed on the Vericam LT. Go check out the rest of the videos that we have on the Vericam if you wanna learn more about it. I'll throw some links at the end of this video and check in the description if you wanna try this camera out for yourself. Hope you got something out of this one. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for new videos every week, and I'll see you in the next one.